How your body is balanced. So our body is a wonderful balance of tension and compression, it's called biotenscrity for your body. The term tenscrity was actually coined by Buckminster Fuller, who was an architect way back in the day. He coined and termed and developed the philosophy, and he was a developer of thousands of structures. A good one to think about as a geodesic dome in Montreal. That kind of shows you how tension and compression works. So when a tenscrity structure is working really well, it's got some components that are happening, it's omnidirectional. Its base form is a triangle. It has a maximum stability with just a minimum material. The size is theoretically unlimited. It's nonlinear. It's low energy consumption. The strength and resilience of the whole exceeds in some of its parts. Then the applied load is distributed throughout the structure. It's a rigid structure, but with discontinuous compression. It's a flexible structure but with continuous tension. The best way to think about this is the Golden Gate Bridge. So it's built with a tenscrity philosophy. So imagine the bridge, we have all the different cables and bolts, and all these different struts, all this stuff is at work, it needs to do its job, so it's flat and cars can drive across. Now imagine it's off, it's too loose or something is too strong or too weak, whatever the case may be, now it's tilting and now the cars can't drive across. So it's the same thing in our body. If we are off in one of those points, our function is going to suffer because our structure dictates our function. The trick is knowing what you need to do and why. In general you of course want to make sure that the front of your body, the back of your body and the two sites are in balance. Balanced structurally and even with strength and flexibility. Having one side better than the other will eventually lead to a lot of dysfunction. But don't forget the diaphragms in your body as they act like roofs, ceilings and basements in your body. The four main diaphragms, cervical cervical thoracic thoracic pelvic diaphragms are all made of soft tissue and bone, but more importantly are connected to the different sides of your body to help them stay balanced. If they are off then even though you have balanced all your sides with proper stretches and strengthening exercises, you will be off balance. I know this is a lot to take in, but I want you to get an idea of the complexity that the body works with and to read more about this so that you can get a better idea on how to really train your body.